Yeah, folks, you can hear that low pitch squeaking noise. Sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? Konica Minolta should not should not allow that to happen. I don't know why these machines have to wear out so quickly. I only just got this one probably just over three months ago and already it sounds like an old crash monster that's been overworked. And listen here. Here it's squeaking faster in this oh it's a terrible sound for a fairly new machine. Honestly, I could kick fucking Konica Minolta up the fucking bum if I could. They deserve it. We're going to go black and yellow, black and cyan, black and magenta. This will be an interesting one. I found when I was going through one of my one of my bedside tables. So we're just going to keep that at 100. See if we can make this one come up a treat. This one's got wishy-washy red and it's very fine. So I'm hoping to make it, hopefully it'll look good. Even in yellow. This will be a challenging one. Just make it a little bit more contrasty. This one's going to have to go darker. Listen to that squeak, folks. That is terrible. I don't even have to stick the fucking phone inside the machine, I don't think. It's terrible. Fuck me dead. Now it's getting really loud. Listen to that. Is that normal, folks? I don't know. I don't think that's normal for a, a fairly new machine. It's a load of shit. Okay, enough complaining about the machine. Let's just get our demo done. We got here, looks like an ECG, something I had done a while back. So yeah, interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> well, we're just gonna put that on the glass. It's a, it's almost it's a, almost the size of an A4, but we're just going to keep it at 100%. We're just putting it in the middle. And that squeak is really getting annoying. So, folks, if this machine breaks, don't be surprised. But I'm going to... But Mytronics... Um, I've got them on a service agreement with Mytronics. Sorry, guys, for talking through my ass. I've got a service agreement with Mytronics, so if anything breaks, I can get it fixed. And it's not my fault that the machine's making that terrible noise and other sounds as well. Let's see how it goes. Okay, right, so we've got the yellow. Oh, shit, that looks terrible, mate, guys. You can hardly see any yellow in that. Oh, yuck. I've got a gut feeling this is not going to be suitable as a dual color it looks shit it's come out there's hardly any yellow in that <laughs> it's terrible we're just going to do something different to it though we're going to just put it in full color mode we're just going to put it in full color we're not going to bother with this silly dual color shit even though it would be nice so i'm wondering what we're going to do with this i don't know why it turned out so shitty uh we're going to lighten it up a little bit. And then the colour balance, we can add some, we can especially add yellow, magenta, because it's mostly red, and we're just going to leave the cyan and the black normal. <sighs> I forgot, I've got to put the saturation in. Right. And the contrast, I think we're going to leave it there like so. So I'm wondering if we can maybe... We can just make them. We're going to make some kind of master copy and we're going to do something more interesting with this. I'm hoping this is a bit of a challenging, unexpected sort of demo. Wasn't expecting the results to be so shitty. <laughs> so let's see how we go with this. I was thinking of doing it as a movement, but I don't want to damage the original. So I want to keep the original in good shape. Now that looks nice and clear. You can see there's a lot of yellow there too in the background because we had the background turned up high. But you can see the, the, the lovely uh, grid pattern. That looks really nice. 
So I'm wondering if we're going to turn this one into a movement piece or maybe we could turn it into a dual colour. Maybe not a dual colour. We've had enough trying to fuck with dual colour and it doesn't work. So we're just taking our... So this is our original. It's, it still is a yellow-ish original. And you can see, we can see the grid a lot clearer. So we're just going to put this aside. We don't want to destroy it, so we're just going to keep it aside. And we're just going to probably do something interesting with the master copy we just created. So we're just going to quickly play with the machine to make sure it doesn't... I'm thinking maybe... I think that was the right setting. So I'm wondering if we're going to make this into something different. Oops, oh, the silly scrolly scrolly thing we got here with this silly dumbass Konica Minolta shitter. So we're just going to leave it on that. Hang on, why we? Why do we just click out? Do we? I don't think we're finished yet with this. So I'm just hoping that maybe we can get in here and the copy density is a bit Actually, it might be better if it's like that. And maybe with a colour balance, we can add some cyan as well. And what are we going to do with this? How are we going to make this look interesting? Oh, another thing. We're going to maybe... I don't know. If we shrink it, we're going to lose all the detail. So we're just going to take our master copy and we're going to move it. We're going to make it into a movement piece. It's not going to get everything on the page, but I'm hoping it'll look really nice as a movement piece. So let's see if that looks good. This is going to be a prolongated demo already. We haven't even hardly gone through it yet. So let's see how that looks. That looks really nice and you can see the grid pattern. It's even better than the original even though it's been moved. So we're going to make this into something interesting. We're going to make it into a mirror image. All right, we're going to just take our master copy and put it aside. So that's our master copy. I think we already showed you but I sometimes on one occasion I forgot to show my original. So I'm really upset about that then but we're going to take this we're going to make it into a mirror image. So we're going to make this into a master copy. So I'm pretty sure I just showed it to you guys. I'm just getting a bit paranoid about it. So that's our master copy. And we're just going to put on the glass and wonder what we're going to do with it. Ah, oh, I got an idea. Now that we've got a good red, we are going to go two color. We're going to make it black and red, black and blue, black and green, black and yellow. So we've changed again. We've done a, a, a turnaround. So it's a bit strange how that happens in copier configuration art, but it does. Sometimes you want... You <laughs> so we are going down the path of doing a two-colour job, but now we're just doing a major... It's a bit like... Uh, what's the word? Lateral thinking. It's a bit of a lateral thinking style demo. So we've already got it as red, but we're going to make it redder. And it's going to be a part of a four-part uh, mirror image. So let's just get... This is going to be a really long demo, <laughs> guys. If you guys are interested in seeing what I do, you're going to love this demo. If you like it quickie and you're not patient with what I'm doing, you're absolutely going to hate it. Now that's an interesting result. You can see a little bit of iridescence against the black. So we're just going to, I'm thinking we're going to put it up, put this one up in the top right. We're going to put the red up there as we're, as we're about to. And we're just going to get the other colours organised. So we'll just move our master copy and our bad one away. And we're just going to make another one. This time it'll be black and yellow. So this is going to be a really long demo, folks. Let's see how we go.
So here we go, we're nearly hit, now we're on 10 minutes. We've been doing this demo now for 10 minutes. Now the yellow looks really quite iridescent. It's an interesting how, how it's popping out like that. The yellow seems like that sometimes happens. So we're just going to put that in there like so. So there's our first two quadrants and we just need to make the cooler color quadrants. So we're just going to go here and our next color is going to be black and blue. So yeah, I call this a lateral thinking type of demo. <laughs> it is lateral thinking if I'm correct. <laughs> or, that's, or it could be called that. Anyway, that's a nice looking blue. That's been, I forgot one thing. I have to do a mirror image. So that looks good, and, but we need a mirror. So we're gonna mirror this one. We, got, we nearly forgot to, or we forgot to set our mirror image for the two, for the two cool colors. That's the pattern we're making it. So we're just gonna set up our mirror image. Sorry folks, this demo is gonna be even longer. <laughs> Oh, well, it'll be fun uploading this, won't it, to my YouTube channel and maybe Facebook later on. I don't know. We'll see what, how, where it takes us. Uh, it certainly won't fit on Flickr. Flickr, uh, Flickr videos are only allowed to go for... If you want the whole video to play, you can only make your Flickr videos basically... Uh, Two minutes and 59 seconds. In other words, everything that you do, you send up to Flickr has to be bloody under three minutes. So this demo would be cut off long before, and that's no good. So I only use Flickr for my sh very, very, very short uh, videos, the ones that's, that are under, under three minutes, maximum duration. But th this demo is definitely not a Flickr video. <sighs> It'd probably look good on MySpace, but MySpace, uh, I've used up all of all the space, so to speak. Sorry about the pun. Basically, you're only allowed to upload 40 videos on, on MySpace. That's a really annoying restriction. I'm really annoyed with that. So, but basically that's it. I've got some good videos on MySpace. Uh, but anyway, I've done pretty well most of the, the big... Um, uh, social media sites. Anyway, that's the green. And we're just going to slot that one into the top left corner. Make it look really nice to finish off this job. I think we've lined them up quite nicely. So there you have it. An ECG reimagined.